Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? What are their intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. All right, for Cancer spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Cancer regarding love regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. Cancer in love spirit. What do we need to know about Cancer? What's going on between them and their person? What's going on? What are the energies in this connection? Ace of Wands, what's going on for Cancer? What's going on? Wow, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, love that energy. Something happening quickly, passion, uh, creativity, adventure, new beginnings, new adventures, new endeavors. So there's something definitely new happening in this connection. What can you tell me about Cancer? Cancer, I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. I'm just going to put down all of your energies first. Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer's energies. Tell me about Cancer's energies in this connection seven of swords reverse knight of cups interesting can i get one more tell me about cancer's energies in this connection seven of cups hmm. tell me about the person cancer is dealing with connecting with at this time what do we need to know about this other person what do we need to know about this other person Six of Cups reverse. What do we need to know about this other person? Two of Pentacles reverse. Mm. Okay, Four of Wands reverse. Can I get one more for this person? This person that Cancer is connecting with me about at this time. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Cancer, I don't know. I feel like this, this is going to possibly be a very simple reading in the sense that I think someone's coming to you to apologize or express how they feel. Uh, maybe because they got caught doing something they shouldn't have. Maybe because you realized something about their behavior towards you. Maybe you realized something about their intentions towards you. And I think you're going to be possibly evaluating this apology or thinking about this person's emotional display, you know, whatever they come to you, whatever they tell you, um, however they express themselves. I see you kind of thinking about it with the seven of cups, kind of trying to make sense of it. Um, I'm going to clarify these to, to get a better um, idea in a second. But that's kind of what I just get right away with these, um, the cards that I see here. And then your person, you know, Four of Wands reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I see this as somebody who's experienced some sort of loss or is having some sort of um, instability in their life. This could be someone having financial difficulties. Um, and I think it's because they dropped the ball. That's what I heard when I put down this card, this Two of Pentacles reverse. They dropped the ball. And I think it was um, because they... When I saw the Six of Cups reverse, I thought this is somebody that's going back to their old ways or repeating the same mistakes. That they're stuck in this past energy of doing things or a past situation where they keep making the same mistakes or dealing with the same problems. I'm going to clarify and see if that's the case. But um, I feel like someone's going to come in and, and, and with this Knight of Wands and Ace of Wands and it's going to be like, I'm still interested. I'm still in this. I still want to continue this. Um, we'll see. Tell me about this Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about this Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands? You could be dealing with a fire sign, someone with fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Hermit Reverse. Yeah, okay, so what I'm getting is this is not someone uh, subtle. Uh, this is someone that is coming in almost like um, they're coming in out of like a dark room or coming in out of hiding or coming in out of being quiet. Uh, the hermit reverse is typically somebody that, 
uh, could be returning from a spiritual journey they've been on or some sort of uh, situation where they've retreated. They could be coming back from that, but also the Hermit Reverse could symbolize someone that is not listening to their inner voice, is not listening to advice, um, is retreating a little bit too much. They could be avoiding the main issue as well, the Hermit Reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about this energy? The Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about this energy? Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, okay. So again, um, you know, the message is repeating itself in a way. Ten of Pentacles reverse, very similar to the Four of Wands reverse and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's almost like these two energies together is the Ten of Pentacles reverse. There could have been a long-term commitment that was damaged. That's what I heard. Damaged. I was gonna say broken, but it's 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 been there's been something that's happened in a long term commit commitment or a, a connection that was possibly very stable, very secure. Um, the Knight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, sometimes when I see these two cards together, I think of someone that is not interested in commitment, is not interested in longevity. They're interested in having what they want now, uh, having their fun. Um, they're more impulsive, more in the here and now, rather than thinking really about the future. Um, but I think this this is a situation where the Hermit Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles Reverse, I'm getting somebody that possibly was avoiding um, an important truth or avoiding uh, facing the music, and it kind of impacted uh, something that was stable. Can I get one more for the um, Ace of Wands <clears throat> and the Knight of Wands? What do we need to know about the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands? The Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy. Um, someone that is uh, trying to break free of an unhealthy attachment, perhaps. The Devil Reverse. Um, this is somebody that is no longer restricted, no longer tied down, overcoming something unhealthy. Taking the chains off. Um, um, this could have been a situation where... Uh, it became unhealthy and someone no longer wants to deal with it. This could be a situation also that might have become toxic um, or someone's addictions or, or um, impulsive behaviors got them in trouble. Um, I think there's whatever happened in your connection, Cancer, um, it affected your connection to the point where it's not the same anymore. I'm getting a lot of messages here with all of these cards. I think that someone jumped into something or is trying to jump back into something. Um, either way, I think they're going to maybe um, have a hard time uh, achieving their goal or, you know, whatever they, they're have, they have in mind. I just don't think it going the way that they are thinking here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Love this. Um, temperance is all about coming together in harmony, blending two very different things together, taking your time, um, being very balanced, uh, coming at some sort of resolution. I feel like what's happening here is, um, with, uh, with temperance is I'm almost getting like, a yeah, and then the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone's coming to some sort of understanding. And I don't know if this is an understanding between you or if one of you is having an understanding about what's happening. Um, I think one of you as well, and I say at least one of you because this is what's happening in your connection right now and both of you are here. Both of your energies are here. So take it how it resonates. But one of you is I feel trying to find your peace, your inner peace, and you not, don't want to deal with any more um, drama, I guess. Um, I, I, the Page of Swords is somebody that um, is very curious. Um, they're natural researchers, interested in the truth. Sometimes they're a bit blunt or not the best communicators because they just want to say what they have to say and they focus more about facts, not not really how someone is feeling. But And sometimes, you know, their delivery is just not the best, the Page of Swords. Um, but I think this is somebody that's realizing um, something. There's the hint of clarity here. There could be somebody wanting to talk, um, wanting to be honest with you with the Page of Swords in, in order to balance something out, to bring harmony to a situation. That could be it as well. Um, I think that uh, the Cancers, to the Cancers that I'm speaking to, um, the Cancers that this reading is for, there was a um, disturbance in your connection. Something happened 
and it changed it forever. And now I, 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 it's almost like I'm wondering if you're on the same page right now because so much has happened and is still happening. With the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, there's, there's action here. There's passion. There's impulsive energy. There's, uh, there's a rushing in, you know, this is not a sleepy connection, you know, <laughs> that's kind of the best way I could describe that. So this is what's happening right now. And I think, you know, this is kind of telling me the story over here that your person might have dropped the ball and because it's experienced some sort of a loss. Um, and then you over here, Seven of Swords Reverse is telling me you're not ignorant of this. You know about this because the Seven of Swords is reversed. Tell me about the Seven of Swords Reverse. What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords Reverse? What do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles Reverse, yeah. Um, the Seven of Swords Reverse with the Queen of Pentacles Reverse, I instantly think that someone was not able to be reliable. Some, someone that's not dependable, not reliable. Someone that possibly um, wasn't a, a stable partner, a grounded partner. Um, Queen of Pentacles Reverse doesn't really have anything to offer or give. They they can't give something they don't have. Um, and it could be temporary that they don't have this, but, you know, this just doesn't, doesn't change the reality. Queen of Pentacles, to me, re when she's reversed, she, instead of being financially dependent, uh, independent or successful on their own, they tend to be financially dependent on someone else. Um, and also Queen of Pentacles reverse. I think of someone that is not very faithful or just you can't count on them. So it makes sense that the Queen of Pentacles reverses with the Seven of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Chariot. Yeah, this is someone coming forward, Cancer. There you are with the Chariot. And the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is someone like literally visiting you to offer you this cup. Um, I feel like some of you are ready to move on with your life with the chariot. Like you're looking ahead, you're not looking back. Um, and others of you, you might be waiting for this offer to come in. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups? What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups for Cancer? What do we need to know? Page of Swords. Yeah, this is this is the person coming over to talk. Um, I think you're going to be evaluating what this person is saying, but I think you're like this Nine of Wands. Um, you're wary of this person. Not sure if you can trust them. In protection mode, guarding your heart, guarding yourself from this person. Despite the fact that they're telling you uh, something... Um, you know, from their heart or telling you the truth or wanting to talk. I feel like you're kind of, you're, you have a guard up. And it's probably because of the history you have with this person. Whoa. Almost dropped my cards. Have the lovers here, Gemini energy. Mm. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but I'm, I'm picking up um, almost like um, some of you have to ignore your feelings for this person. Or feel like you have to shut down your feelings. It's like you have to shut down your emotional side in order to deal with this person logically. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. So others of you, you're dealing with like a soulmate type of energy. And that's probably why the Devil's Reverse. Because there's an attachment here that someone's probably thinking about being free from. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What can you tell me about the Seven of Cups? Why is the Seven of Cups here? I see you kind of just thinking about what this is. Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse, exactly. I feel like this is you. You're you're ignoring your emotions or you're, you're trying to ignore how you feel so that you make the right choice. I see you kind of closing yourself off from this person emotionally so that you can really think about what they're telling you so that you can ev evaluate your choices here. So let's look at your person's energy. What do we need to know about this other person's spirit? Tell me about this Two of Pentacles reverse. Let's start there. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Cups. Okay. Can I get one more for the Two of Pentacles reverse? Uh-oh. I hope you can't hear that. 
Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, I, I, I really feel this person dropped the ball. They ruined something that had a lot of potential. They ruined something that was very beautiful. Ten of Cups. And I think a separation happened here between you and this person. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Nine of Wands. So this is why you're wary because they, they, they really messed up. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, Ten of Wands reverse, Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're you're ready to drop this burden, or you just don't want to deal with this anymore. I do I do feel that a lot of you Cancers, the, for the Cancers that I'm speaking to, this has happened over a long time, or time has passed. There have been um, opportunities for you to um, for this to develop into. A burden you know it's not like this is just one or two things this is multiple things that are wearing on you wearing on this connection and I think a lot of you are tired you're tired you don't want to have to fight anymore you don't want to have to um, deal with this anymore or perhaps you're just kind of feeling like this isn't worth it can I get one for this six of cups reverse why is the Six of Cups reverse? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's stuck in the past or stuck in a situation. They're holding, they're closed off, holding back, but it's almost like they're just stubborn. And the bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Wands. Exactly. It's almost like this person's way of handling situations just causes more difficulties for them or just repeats drama, repeats problems, you know? And so they're stuck in this energy of, you know, and it could very well be that their stubbornness or their pride has cost them a lot of um, good things because they just keep making mistakes and their past is constantly repeating. That's kind of what I get here when I when I saw that Six of Cups reverse. I kind of got that. This, this, this is like a pattern of behavior or a pattern that this person just keeps repeating. Okay, let's get some oracle cards. Can I get some insight, please, Spirit, into the energies between Cancer and this other person? I also find it very fascinating that this person did not get one major arcana on their side. And you as well. You you basically just, it was just your energy that showed up, the chariot, as the only major arcana. So what that tells me is there are no major shifts of energy happening here. More, it's the day-to-day -day details that I feel, you know, it's, it's it's almost like um the little things or the small actions that are taking part here, um, it, it's ongoing. I how do I explain this in a way that makes sense? Same old, same old. Um there's nothing in the future that's gonna change at this time. I feel like this is a pattern that's just repeating itself between you and this person. I'm also getting there's a lack of maturity here. It's almost like this person has not learned their lesson. So they haven't experienced a major shift in their life or a major change, if that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. And I feel like what's the problem here is really the little things. Can I get some um, insight, please, into Cancer's energy? Can you get some insight, please, to Cancer's energy? Looking inward, standing firm. Okay, so you're reflecting. You are also defensive, resistant. You're brave, standing strong, being strong. You're looking inward, but I see you also looking towards the future. And again, I sense that you're probably this temperance energy, um, really uh, thinking about a situation and getting that clarity over time. Tell me about this other person that Cancer is dealing with. Unhealthy attachment, okay. Bonds, toxicity, codependency. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. Can I get one more for this person? Can I get one more? Second chances, exactly, exactly what we've been saying this whole time. I feel like this person wants a second chance, a do-over, or at least they want to come in and almost like start over, start again with passion, with bravery, with bravado. You know, this is someone fearless and bold with the Knight of Wands. 
but um, I, I just don't see, it, and it very well could be that they've let go of an unhealthy attachment and now they want a second chance, but you know, that's going to be up to you if that's the case. You're, you'll be the one making that final decision if, if you're interested in that, if that's something you want to do again. Can I get some more insight, please, between Cancer and this person? What are the energies between Cancer and this person? The Tiger and the Hyena. So the Tiger is very, um, very Queen of Wands type of energy, very sensual. Um, they are uh, fearless and bold in their own right. I see you very like protective. I'm getting very protection, like like you're protecting yourself, you're guarding yourself in a fierce way here with the tiger. And then with the hyena, I think you're hiding your true pain. Um, I see you trying to look at the bright side despite how you feel, um, being optimistic despite the crappiness going on around you. Also, I feel like in your mind, you can't trust anybody. Your trust has been, um, your trust meter is broken. Tell me about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? I also get the sense of you appearing like a warrior, but you're more of a hyena in the sense that I don't think you are ready to completely deal with a situation as a tiger would. But you want to appear that way, if that makes sense. So I see you, for example, an example would be um, you are just verbally and acting like you're ready to just cut something completely out of your life. But emotionally and inwardly, maybe you're not quite there yet to cut something off completely. But you want to appear like you are. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. Tell me about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? The horse. Okay, so that's like the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person's coming in hot. I feel like they're just focused on, um, okay, the word I heard is progression, moving things forward. Um, they're fo focused on what action do I need to do, like solutions oriented this person. But I just don't think this is a quick fix. And I don't think the action is going to fix this either. Um, just I feel like they're, they know that they have to come in uh, with honesty. And they know that possibly they have to bear their heart or be vulnerable. Maybe they're not typically like that, but that's what's required here. However, the ball is still in your court. It's not like someone showing a, a display of affection is going to change the history of what's happened or the history between you, you know? Tell me about this person. What do we need to know about this person? So many things remind me of you. I love you. And bottom of the deck, I hid who I really am from you. Okay, so I feel like this person possibly has good intentions here. Um, so many things remind me of you. It's telling me that possibly you're not in contact with this person or, or again, there was some sort of separation. I do have the two of cups reversed down here. I don't know if you were able to see that. Oh, I feel bad because now I just realized that you weren't able to see the ten of cups or the two of cups reversed. So that was my bad. I wasn't looking at the camera, but they're down here. So I feel like there was some sort of disconnect between you and this person, possibly a lot of drama. So I feel like their intentions are, how can I have a second chance or how can I um, not screw up again, <laughs> basically. Um, but again, I think this is completely up to you, Cancer. And some of you might go for it. Some of you are completely done. I feel like this is an ongoing theme for Cancers. Um, either a Cancer is waiting for the, their love to appear or a cancer is ready to move on and see what else is out there. I feel like I have two groups that watch my channel. Um, let me know which group you fall under in the comments. I'm curious. Thank you so much for your support. Hit this the like button or subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more uh, readings from me. And I'll see you all in another video very soon, Cancer. Thank you.